All right. I think we might be back. If you're still with us, thank you for sticking around or if you got the notice that we're back. Um, thank you for joining us again. And if we don't have a lot of people in right now, I understand, you know, things get, you know, wonky, whatever, and we're 23 minutes late. <clears throat> Um, but we're going to record it anyway, um, just so that we have it. Um, so thank you. Uh, an update came out for the OBS, the streaming software we use, and a setting got turned off. Um, hardware encoding versus software, if that matters to you, if you care. Um, anyways, today, so I'm going to do this anyway. We're going to record it, and then you can always refer back to it because I really want to do this because we had a lot of people in the chat last week ask for it, and then the week before, and then I just know overall we're very excited about um, a game, and oh, here we go, it's kicking in again today, we'll see, hopefully this will help, a game called Animal Crossing. So, uh, we've done videos in the past where, uh, we, you know, we make a game in um, Scratch, which is totally made for that, that's the whole purpose of Scratch, is to make games. Um, and then Mario Maker, where we're not making something necessarily from the beginning like we are in Scratch, but we're making a game in that. Today we're making a game inside a game that isn't made to make games. Um, kind of the point and the reason why I want to do it is, A, you guys asked for it. B, I'm obsessed with it. It is my favorite game series of all time. I remember back in uh, 2001 when I was just 20 years old, 21 years old. Um, playing the game and I remember you know playing it in 2004 with my son when he was just a baby and just wanted to play games with me and he would just gnaw on a, an old controller and everything so um, this game has a lot of memories for me uh, makes me happy every time I turn it on it's a very chill game which I like games can be stressful sometimes um, but today the point is and what we're gonna try to get across to you is if you want to get in the business of making games you've got to see the possibility of games everywhere you are everywhere um, bored at dinner think of a game that you can play to pass the time bored driving in a car think of a game uh, making video games isn't about making video games it's about making games and then just using video games as that platform so today I'm going to show you how to do that how you can make a game inside of a game that wasn't made to make games and how you can have fun with other um, people so thank you for bearing with me um, internet's not too great today video encoders kind of acting up so you might see me kind of pause a little bit um, but we're gonna do the best that we can um, and today we're going to make an Animal Crossing game uh, or a game inside Animal Crossing so there's me that's me in Animal Crossing that's my house um, so we're going to We're going to start with the basics. So what I want to do is I'm going to make a, uh, I'm going to make an escape room basically. And next week we're going to have Parker play this game. So that's why he's not here today. He's in his room and they're playing Minecraft. Um, we're going to um, make an escape room. So basically he's going to fly to my island. I'm going to tell me he has to leave everything at his island. He's not allowed to bring anything. He's going to fly to my island and um, he's going to have to try to escape off the island. So he's going to show up. And um, there's going to be stuff that he has to try to escape from. And uh, I can already see it jittering again. Oh, man. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what we can do. Um, doing the best we can here. Let's see if we can get rid of anything. I think we're, we might be okay. Yeah. Like I said, I'm doing the best we can. So um, for this game, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Um, I'm going to make a giant block that is going to have a, a Nook Miles ticket. So if you know, if you know the game, um, airplane drops you off on your island, and then you can always buy these things called Nook Miles tickets to get off the island to go to like a mystery island. So for the, the goal for him is to get off the island, and if he's able to do that, he needs a Nook Miles ticket to do that. That's just, I'm making that up for the game. He doesn't actually need that. Um, and that's also kind of just like his reward for what he's doing is that um, he gets a uh, Nook Miles ticket out of it, which is worth 2,000 Nook Miles, which is not not pretty cheap. So we're going to, um, I gotta find a good place to put it. Uh, I think I'll put it right here. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna start terraforming. So what's cool about this game that's been added is the ability to terraform. Uh, you didn't have the ability to terraform before, you do now, which means I can change the way my island looks. So I'm going to start construction. 
And those of you that are joining us and noticing it's jittery and it's not um, going too well, that it's just OBS or software is acting up on us um, or my computer's acting up on us or the internet, one or the other, all of those things. And it, I can already see it's kind of freezing again right here. So we're just doing the best we can um, to get through it. So I'm going to go in here and I'm gonna make, um, like I said, I'm gonna make a, 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 like an island thing. So I'm gonna make it up like that. And I don't have to go too high. I mean, he can't, again, if he joins the island, whoever's gonna play this game joins the island, um, the, the, the part of the game is you gotta show up with nothing. And if you have nothing, you can't get up. See, there's nothing you can do. Um, if you have a ladder, you can get up. And so I'm gonna put the, no the Nook Miles ticket up here. And so his goal basically is he's gotta get a ladder to be able to get um, in and be able to do something here. So um, I'm looking at it here and I'm hoping the video's... Yeah, let's go, okay. Yeah. Video's not too great, audio's okay, so. Um, so now we have uh, this here. We've got our um, ladder. We know that we need to get them. So we're going to have to start work working our way back. So to get a ladder, you have to craft it. And to craft a ladder, you need to have three types of wood. You have to have a regular wood, a soft wood, and a hard wood. So we're going to make it so that he has to try to find those three types of wood. And you need four of each of those. So altogether, he's going to need to gather 12 pieces um, of wood. So... Um, we're going to start a bit on that. I'm going to do a little bit more and then we're going to cut it for today and we'll come back and do this next week because um, I'm just watching and the video is just not good. So um, sorry for those of you that joined us today. Sorry that we're having problems. Just you guys know sometimes tech just works out this way and we'll have to figure out what's going on. Um, hopefully in time for tomorrow for our brand new stream that we're going to be debuting. So I'm going to do a little bit here. Then we're going to sign off for today. Um, and before I sign off, I'm going to plug a couple of our new streams that we have. Um, going on so the idea is i'm going to put a nook miles ticket up there and parker's gonna have to do some things to do it so the one thing i know i want to do is i want to bury some stuff around the island i'm going to bury some of the wood i'm going to bury a fishing pole because again he's showing up with nothing and then i'm going to drop the other woods all around the island so we'll do more of that next week when we come back or maybe we'll do like a a, a just in time sort of like spontaneous friday one but i'm going to go over to my museum here i always keep an extra shovel laying around just in case and so that is what i want to hide and so i'm going to hide my shovel um by going i gotta find a good place to hide it and I think I'm going to hide it. This is a nice grove. I think I'm going to put it right here. And then let's drop it and see what it looks like. Yeah, unless he's really looking for it, he's not going to know it. So then I'm going to create a clue that talks about one, two, three, four, five trees. So, sorry. I have to weed the minute I see something. I hate weeds. All right. I've hidden the shovel where there are five trees. So now I'm going to come over to my bulletin board and I'm going to create a, um, a message, create a post that says something about that. So let's say um, you, man, it's hard on a controller, but, ah, go back, you need A, let's take it forever. Um, digging, you need a digging tool that I need a new pro control. I'm not acting up that you. find where the trees are 
make five. Done. Um, can I draw on top of that? I've never even tried that before to see if I'm able to draw. Oh, I can. Where the trees make five. I'll go ahead and draw. Why not? Um, we'll draw. Whoops. We'll draw like that. And like that. And then we'll draw like that. Okay, that's the worst. Do you want everything you drew by hand? Yes, erase it all. That is like the worst thing. We're just going to stick with that. We're not going to draw it all. All right. And then we're going to pulse that. So that is going to be a clue for him to find. Um, I'm going to tell him you need to go to the bulletin board to find your first clue. So already we've got our thing on the way. He's going to see that. It says you need a digging tool that you can find where trees make five. And he knows now he's got to go look for five trees. So when we come back next week, or maybe we'll do a Friday if we can figure this all out um, by then, um, is we'll push this a little bit further. And so um, I've written it all out just to give you kind of an idea of what to, we're, we're going to be working on. Written it all out here. So we got it ready. So basically... Uh, clue on the bulletin board takes him to the shovel. Shovel's going to let him dig up five things. Four pieces of wood. He's going to need those. One fishing pole. Then the next clue is going to say you need to buy your next clue for a thousand bells. And so he's going to have to use a fishing pole to fish, earn enough fish to sell at Nook's Cranny um, to Timmy and Tommy. Then he's going to bring it to me. And then I'm going to give him a clue. And I'm going to save that for next time because I think the clue is pretty fun um, and clever. And I think it's going to be fun for us to build it together. And there's my favorite villager of all time, Clay. Um, so... Uh, we'll, we'll do this again together, and I, I'm sorry to all of you guys that we're having issues and all that. Um, we'll try to get this figured out. I know the audio is fine, but the video is not keeping up, and I keep getting an error down there, and I'm worried it might go out on us. So um, that's that for Let's Make Some Games for this week, the shortest episode of all time. Um, so sorry about that. Um, but two things I want to talk about. Number one, um, we, the new last week we launched a new web series. Um, Simple Art at Home with Laura Houston. So Mrs. Houston is our visual and performing arts Tosa, and she's awesome. And a lot of you tuned in for that uh, last week, and I think you had a lot of fun. And I know Parker, my son, watched that, and he was drawing along with um, Miss Houston as well. So um, an awesome, awesome show. All of our shows um, are on a schedule now where they're predictable. So every Tuesday, provided the technology works, we're here making games. Every Thursday, Mrs. Houston will be doing Simple Art at Home. And then you see that tomorrow we have a new one called Search It Up. Search It Up is going to be a brand new uh, stream. And it's a little bit different from streams that we've done before and other ones that we've got that we're working on. This one simply is a game. And the webcam is going to be on a 3D printer I've got over here. And it's going to be printing something that you don't know. And every 10 minutes, we're going to put a new clue up there. And you're going to use that clue and all the research skills you guys have to go there and Google and figure out what it is that we're printing. And based on when you guess it, if you guess it, you know, um, um, with only one clue, then you get um, extra entries into the random drawing. And the random drawing is going to be um, for what it is that we're printing. We're printing a quick version of it. Whoever wins it will print a nice high depth version of it. Um, so you only get one guess, so you're going to have to be careful with that, but that's tomorrow. So tomorrow, if you want to win something tomorrow, if you want to show how good you are at Googling and searching for things and looking things up, you're going to want to be right back here at that time, 3.30, um, for our new show, search it up, um, every Wednesday at 3.30. If you miss it tomorrow, we'll do another one next week. We'll keep doing that. Um, as long as we can get our streaming working and then again thursday please join us 3 30 for simple art at home and then um if i can get the uh streaming working on my end here uh we'll do a let's make some games maybe a special one on friday um so that we can get back into um animal crossing so again thank you for joining us sorry that we had some problems with the um encoding and everything um david i know you're bummed you came late don't worry about it um we didn't get to do much because i'm pausing and jittering all over the place so we're not doing too much so you didn't miss anything we'll do this again um, next week or friday if we can get it up and going but please join us tomorrow for search it up where you can win something or thursday or and thursday please join us as well thursday for simple art at home with laura houston i hope you all have a great day um and we will see you all tomorrow and then again on thursday bye everybody